What's up guys? Welcome to G Whiskey. My name is Jeff. Now this is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey and once in a while I'll throw in a list as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, why don't we jump into our list? Today we're looking at 12 different styles of whiskey bottles. Stick around. So this is a fun one, definitely not one of my more serious videos. We're going to be looking at whiskey bottles today and we're going to be ranking different styles of whiskey bottles. So nothing to do with the whiskey or its quality, we're just looking at bottles today. If you watch my regular review videos, you know that I like to give presentation scores to whiskey bottles. Um, it's meaningless, it's just for fun, definitely not a reflection of the whiskey whatsoever. But you know, whiskey is a premium product, so I always appreciate it when our packaging has something cool going on. Anyway, we're going to be looking at a bunch of bottles today and seeing what kind of like style or category we can fit them into. Um, these categories are made up, completely pulled out of my ass, nothing technical about them, uh, and we'll be ranking these categories. We're going to be looking at core range or branded whiskeys today. No independent bottles, even though there's a lot of really cool independent bottle designs, but I've already got 12 categories on the go and that should be enough for today. Now I am ranking these styles, but that's not to say that I like or dislike every single bottle within that style. There's going to be styles that rank lower that have beautiful bottles, there's going to be styles that rank higher that have ugly bottles. Uh, I will be giving you my top pick from each style. Also stick around after our list and I'll let you know what mystery bottle is sitting here on my shelf. Um, you know it's important to note all of this is nonsense, it's just for fun. Really I just want to look at some cool whiskey bottles today. So with that said, why don't we hop into our list and in the meantime, if you could kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. Some honorable mentions to kick things off. Uh, these ones are basically brands that are bottle styles in and of themselves. No other whiskey kind of fits into this category. Uh, we'll start things off with Highland Park. Uh, and you know, I think enough has been said about Highland Park bottles. Some are pretty silly, pretty gimmicky, some are better than others, but on the whole, I'm not really a big fan of this style. I guess we could just call it like Viking style, so there you go. Uh, next up, we've got the old versions of Glen Scotia bottlings, and I'll say this about them, they were unique. I'm at a loss as to even what we could call this style. I guess we can call it party cow style. Um, anyway, glad those are a thing of the past. Those are some honorable or I guess dishonorable mentions. Why don't we jump into our proper list? Number 12 is a style that's been kind of trending lately over the last few years. Um, I don't love it, I don't hate it, uh, but there are a lot of people out there who are not fans of this style and I can appreciate why. Uh, I'm gonna call this style bold and blocky. Some good examples of this might be the new Ben Riek and Ben Romick looks. Uh, aside from having names that are quite similar, their bottles are also pretty similar in style. Um, and a lot of people got pretty pissed, especially Ben Romick, when they changed their look from this to this. Now I didn't mind it, but I'll admit it's not a great style, but it's clean enough. It's not really off-putting or ugly. Uh, ben Romick in particular kind of gives me like Soviet vibes though, so my favorite pick or my top pick from this style, I mean we'll go with Ben Riek, but honestly neither is very exciting or inspired. But there you go, so number 12, bold and blocky. For number 11, we're getting a little bit more formal here. We're going with something that I'm calling the Regal style. Uh, this actually encompasses several different styles. Some of them are more traditional like your Royal Brockla. Others are more ostentatious like your Royal Salute. And then you have stuff like Chivas which is somewhere in between. All of these are trying to evoke some kind of royal imagery with either their names or their colors. Uh, some I guess can be a bit tacky although I do think the Royal Salute bottles do have their charm. Uh, but I guess my top pick from this style would be Royal Brockla. That's the one with the most traditional look, it's not as gaudy as some of the others, and I really like the new rebranded packaging that we have with them. Not only that, the whiskey inside is much better too, but we're here to talk about the bottles today. Um, so great bottle, although the style itself does rank lower on the list, so at number 11 we've got our Regal style. Alright, our next category is a really fun one, it's one that I like to call tacky flashy. Uh, these are very eye-catching bottles, but they don't exactly exude like class or sophistication. Um, maybe they're aimed at like 20-somethings. I don't know. That'll be bottles like the Big Smoke, uh, Black Bull, the Smokehead line. Now I actually reviewed Smokehead not too long ago and I said I like the bottle and I do. But I'll admit it's not beautiful in the traditional sense. Now this style does rank lower on the list just because 
it is kind of silly, but honestly, I think it's good fun that we have bottles like this. You know, a lot of whiskey takes itself too seriously. Brands get too caught up in their own image. And when you see bottles like this, I mean, obviously they're just having a bit of fun with it. So yeah, even though it comes in lower on the list, I do like brands that do this, that don't take things too seriously. Um, my top pick here, I guess, is going to be Smokehead. I said in my review, it makes me want to buy a motorcycle. So yeah, number 10, Tacky Flashy. For our number nine, we're getting a little bit calmer here. We're getting a little bit more subdued. Uh, we're looking at a style that I'm calling the Zero Frills style. Uh, this will be brands like Altmore, your Flora and Fauna line, uh, Kilcarran, and to a certain extent, Balvenie as well. We've got minimalist labels with these ones. We've got understated graphics, colors, and fonts. We've got kind of like a, we're a craft whiskey. We don't care about the flash kind of vibe. Um, and you know, I like it. I think it's a decent look. It's not a favorite though. I do like a little bit more pop with my bottles, but that's personal opinion. So my top pick here, I guess, is going to be Balvenie, although it's pretty hard to choose. Just the nature of this aesthetic, uh, none of these bottles really stand out more than any of the other ones. Uh, but I do appreciate that a lot of people out there really do like this style. Uh, yep, number nine, Zero Frills. Our number eight is a pretty big category. There's a lot of brands that fall under it. Um, it's been trending over the last few years. It's one of our more ostentatious bottle styles. I'm talking about the Art Deco look. Some brands in here would be Tamdu, Mortlock, the New Glen Turrets, uh, Hazelwood, The Antiquary, uh, Johnny Walker 21. I'm sure there's a bunch more out there. Um, you know, these ones are a little bit interesting because it's the glass bottle more than the labels themselves that catch our attention. Uh, you have these bigger, heavier, very stylized, very intricate kind of glass bottles. Uh, it's not a look that's going to be for everyone, but I do like some of them. My top pick is going to be Mortlock. I do like the Mortlock bottles. They've got some pop without looking too cheap or silly. Um, yeah, not much to say here. You guys know this style. It's a love it or hate it type of thing. Number eight is going to be Art Deco. Number seven is going to bring us back around to a very traditional look. We've got some old school vibes here. Um, you know, it's not a new look. It's been around for a while. There are a few brands out there that try and evoke this kind of like classical imagery. Uh, I'm going to call this style the Victorian style. And that name is probably not very accurate. I'm not sure if any of these looks officially fall under the Victorian art style category, but I'm calling it that anyway. Uh, again, this list is completely pulled out of my ass and I'm just having fun here. Um, brands that would fit into this look would be stuff like Aberfeldy, Craig Ellicke, and Old Par. I'm sure there's more out there. These are typically very busy labels, evocative of like old style posters, I guess. They're very vintagey. They're very stylized. They're definitely very eye-catching. And I quite like this look. Uh, I think my top pick here is going to be the Craig Ellicke bottles. I remember I reviewed Craig Ellicke 13 a while back and I said I did like the bottle, but it's a very try-hard look. Um, <laughs> I guess that's true, but I have since warmed up to it. I do think it's a cool style. Um, so yeah, number seven, the Victorian look. All right, our number five is a look that kind of encompasses several styles. Uh, it's hard to sort of nail it down to one single style, but I'm gonna try. Uh, this is a look that I like to call the craft style. This look is a little bit modern. It's a little bit traditional. You'll often have printed on handwriting. You might have some textured paper, some seemingly stamped on wording, some seemingly torn labels. Uh, I'm talking stuff like your Abelars, Glenlivet listed still, uh, Deanston, now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Deanston bottles, but I do really like the new modern look for Avalar. I think their bottles look fantastic. Um, again, this is like several styles within a style, so a bit of a loose association, but it's one I'm going to make anyway. So yeah, uh, our number six is the craft look. Much like number six, number five is a little bit hard to define. It's kind of several styles within one style. It's something I'm calling the classic look, and it's basically a label style that kind of helps define a certain brand. It's often a very simple, unpretentious, maybe very straightforward look. It might be a little bit traditional. It's not going to be too flashy, but it is going to exude a certain class. Some examples here might be Lagavulin, uh, McAllen, Glen Elgin, Glen Gary, Glen Kinchy. Uh, again, nothing really tying the look of these labels together other than the fact that they have a very classic look to them. Um, they're all immediately identifiable. They're not especially flashy, but they do have kind of like a, a quiet tastefulness to them. Once again, it's not really specific look, so it's definitely a mixed bag. Uh, I'm just going to single out Lag of Vullen. Uh, it's my favorite of the bunch. I've always liked their bottles. Um, pretty random grouping here, but there you go. So number five, the classic look. 
All right, number four is a really fun one. Uh, it's a style that I tend to associate most with one specific brand, although there are other brands that have it. Um, the brand is Douglas Lang, and the style is something that I'm gonna call steampunk craft. We've got the Epicurean, the Galdrins, uh, Rock Oyster, Timorous Beastie, Scallywag, uh, Big Pete doesn't really fit in there. And then you have other stuff like Black Bottle and Scarabus that are not Douglas Lang, but yeah, really cool look, really distinctive. Uh, kudos to whatever marketing team cooked that up. I like the aesthetic, I think it stands out. I think it pops without being too like cheap or tacky, although I suppose that's debatable. Uh, my top pick from this style is gonna be the Galdrins. Now this is not a bottle I've tasted before, but it is one I plan on trying. It's a great bottle, it's a great aesthetic. So my number four is Steampunk Craft. All right, for number three, we're gonna get a little bit flashier. This is another love it or hate it look. Uh, not just because of the style itself, but also a lot of the brands that are associated with this style are kind of controversial themselves. Uh, this is a style that I'm going to call the new Lux look, and it's probably best associated with Dalmore. These bottles are flashy, they're clean, they're shiny, they'd probably look just as at home in a nightclub as they would on a traditional whiskey bar. Uh, they're very slick, they're very eye-catching. And it's not just Dalmore, we also have stuff like the Glenmore G Signet, uh, maybe some Fetter Cairns in there as well. Uh, usually we have a lot of glass showing on the bottle with small to non-existent labels. Similar to the Art Deco style, a lot of the heavy lifting here is going to be done by the bottle itself and not the actual label. Um, but you know, I'm a big fan of this style. I think it looks great. I love stuff like your Dalmore bottles. Not going to be for everyone. My top pick from this style is going to be the Glen Morangy Signet. I think it's absolutely beautiful. But then again, I tend to have some pretty modern sensibilities. Um, but yeah, it's a look that I love. I love the aesthetic. So number three, New Lux. Next up for number two, we've got a really fun style here. It's yet another very broad category, but it's one that's filled with creativity and color and vibrancy. This is one that I'm gonna call the art design look. The brand that's most famous for bringing this look to life is gonna be Compass Box. Compass Box makes some really nice blended whiskeys, but almost as impressive as their whiskeys are their bottles. Uh, their bottles are creative. They're colorful, they're unique, they're design oriented. Honestly, a lot of them would look perfectly at home in an art gallery. But it is a mixed bag, there's a lot of releases out there and they all have their own unique label, uh, makes it kind of hard to choose. Favorites of mine might be the Lost Blend, Menagerie, um, Circus is a good one. I like some of their artsy fartsy ones, um, but there's a lot of variety in there, there's a lot of color and pop and vibrancy, but they always manage to keep it really tasteful. I think it's a beautiful look, a beautiful aesthetic. Number two is the art design. All right, we're down to the last one. That means we're looking at my favorite style of whiskey bottle. Um, again, I wanna stress, that doesn't mean I'm gonna like every single bottle that fits into this category, but just as a general rule, this is a style that's near and dear to my heart. There are a lot of beautiful bottles that do fit in here. Um, I'm gonna call this one Minimalist Sleek. Some good examples of this style would be Ardna Merkin, you have Aaron, you have a knock in there. Uh, all of these bottles have kind of like a modern edge to them without too much flash. Uh, the style's very considered, without being over designed. You can tell a lot of thought went into the look. These bottles all catch our attention without looking too try hard. Uh, they all have some like subtle detailing worked in without ever looking too busy. Uh, we do have some different looks in here, but they all share this kind of modern, clean simplicity that I find to be really aesthetic. Uh, my top pick here is gonna be Aaron. I've always talked about how much I love the Aaron bottles. Uh, beautiful design. Yeah, number one, minimalist sleek. All right, that is it. That is 12 completely made up whiskey bottle styles for you guys. And I do want to hear from you. Uh, what did you think of the styles? Are there any styles that you preferred? Were there any styles that I missed out on that I should have included? Let me know down below in the comments. For those of you who stuck around to find out what whiskey I'm drinking, or maybe more importantly for the sake of this video, what whiskey bottle I'm drinking from, I am drinking the Glen Morangy Signet. This is a beautiful whiskey from a very beautiful, very opulent bottle. And that'll be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the list. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, please consider becoming a patron. As always, do the like, comment, subscribe thing. And that's it. See you next time.